Oh, mate. They're powdery, but they're not. Look at him stopping them in his face. <laughs> just like going, look, boy. <laughs> Back to the channel, by the way. Hello, we are London Vegans. I am Phil, and here's Polly. <laughs> I'm in your seat. <laughs> I feel honoured. <laughs> Does it feel weird being that side? It's feel a bit weird. Yeah, yeah cause it's like with Jeremy, I'm always used to him being on my right side because he hates being on the left. Yeah, and I'm not allowed to walk on the left yeah. side of you. Yeah, you're not, because it just feels wrong. Yeah, on whatever side. I have to move to another side of the street when we're walking down the street, don't I? We have chocolates. Thank you very much to the guys at Ombar. He sent us some stuff before. I wasn't making faces behind me. Yeah, I'm used to it now. Um, but I'm so excited about this and I'm really shocked he hasn't shoved them down his gullet. I have been sitting here for over a month now. Here are other flavours that you didn't get to try last time. Look forward to seeing what you think in the video. Enjoy. Best wishes. Lucy. Hey Lucy. I'm sure we're going to absolutely love these because last time we got a bit excited. I just want to say that I really love the packaging, the designs. I know. I'm a sucker for packaging. I really love the colours. They look really contemporary, don't they? I know, I know. What do you think of our new logo? Isn't he a genius? I <laughs> love our new logo. It's like literally, I was sending him messages going, it's perfect, and he was going, yeah, but don't you think this should be... No, what do you not understand about the word perfect, I am like Bill? that, though. I just overthink things. It's like, seriously, I, I love the new logo. That makes me happy. I'm going to get it tattooed across my chest. <laughs> I'm not getting it tattooed across my chest. So we've got quite a few to eat here. We've got yeah, six bars and some buttons. We're only going to have a bit of each have because a little bite. I'm... Can I have some more iced tea by the yeah. way? Oh, nice. That's, that's how lovely camera, I am. Right? Have you not made it before? No. I'm lazy. So, I'm going to fan them out and you get... We're not going to... I'm going to fan them out and you pick one. Look at me. I'm, it's not it's like I'm dining out. Like, see, last time, because I didn't iron these last time, Polly got really annoyed. Right. Raspberry and coconut. Now, raspberry isn't my fa I, I like the flavour of raspberry. I love raspberry. But I don't like raspberries because of the pits. I'm so fussy. Oh, wow. Oh, that's like mm. a raspberry inside, mm. which is pink. A ras not a raspberry inside. No, you raspberry know Raspberry fondant inside. Mm. Oh, wow. Really coconutty. Oh, wow. The flavours in that are amazing. Mm. Really intense, aren't they? I'm getting a proper zing around my mouth. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. And it's not too sweet. That's what I about what I loved oh. about these last time is that they weren't too sweet. Oh my god, that's so good. You know when you get that oh yeah around your face. Yeah. Oh god, that's good. So this is the mandarin. <gasps> I really like the idea of this because where else do you see mandarin flavoured mm, chocolate? You don't I do you? love orange chocolate. I don't understand people who don't like orange chocolate because it's my favourite thing. I'm not time. mad on orange, but mandarin I think has a bit of a yeah. different flavour, doesn't it? Got chocolate on my this doesn't have fondant in it, it's just a That's not as orangey as I hoped. It's really nice, but it's not as orangey as mm. I hoped. What's this one again? This is the blueberry and acai. Okay. Mm. See I like I love blueberries. Never had them in chocolate though. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. That's very similar to the. That's a really. The strong. raspberry. Mmm. Again, it's really intense, isn't it? That. That's flavor. a really strong flavor. That's why I was so shocked about the mandarin one. Because I thought that would be really intense, like the other one. But I like the fact that you have got a choice mm. if you don't want the intense flavour. Because mm. not, not everybody would like that, I guess. Well, they're all wrong. Blueberries are a really hard flavour to get right as well, isn't it? Mm. The best before date's my birthday on that one. Oh. Should we get going for that one next? Yeah. Right, I'm going to Is that mint? No. This is lemon and green tea. Oh. Keep it raw, baby. Keep it raw, baby. Mm. So it's a really big thing at the moment, isn't it? Raw food and... Mm. I don't like using the term clean eating because I think food food is good. Like I don't think there's clean and unclean. No, I think there's but food I food that's bad for you, but I think also everything in moderation. That's the word. Mm. Everything in moderation. What do we think of this one? Quite bitter. Mm. I think that's a gentle flavour though. It's an interesting flavour, it's not too lemony. That's a really nice gentle flavour. See I, I think that's quite bitter compared do to the you? others. Yeah. That's I think my... the chocolate tastes 
less bitter. And I'm not saying bitter in a bad way. I like my chocolate bitter. I think it's green tea as opposed to the lemon. I like that. Goji berry. Again. Mm. I had goji berries this morning. An interesting flavour. And again, it's something that a lot of people are using. Maybe some, not so much now, but maybe a, a couple of years. I mean, it's one of those superfood things that everyone went, ah, goji yeah. berries. But I quite like goji berries. Yeah, I do. I like the texture of goji berries because they're really chewy, aren't they? Oh, look, it looks like it's got, you can actually see bits of goji berries uh, in it. Of, is it fondant or is it no, real, no. real goji berries? Goji. Mm. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you can just no, see no. it. See it at the front. Mm. I don't think we've got any goji, but I'm going to pick off the end of it. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's an interesting flavour. It's mm. not something I'd pick. Yeah, I like that. But I like it. What's interesting about these is it takes a few seconds and for the flavour to come out. I think because the chocolate's so strong. Yeah. It's kind of like a chalky cacao, cacao yeah. isn't it? Because you've got such a strong dark chocolate flavour and then you get the rush of whatever flavour they've put in there as well. And it's... It's such a taste sensation. Yeah. It's a really good quality chocolate. Yeah. Cacao. I mean, I've found myself now, I will, I, the one good thing about being a vegan is I think that I don't buy chocolate as much as I used yeah, to. Yeah, I know, yeah, I used to and, buy chocolate all the time. And a bar like this, when I buy an unbar now, because I do buy them, when I buy one, it will last me a couple of, at least three days, because I'll only need, you, Like a Vico bar. I mean, I'm literally stuffed now from just having these few little bits. And that's more chocolate than I'd have in an evening. Or a... It's because it's really rich. Mm. I wouldn't say it's sickly. Not all. But it's a rich cacao. I mean, this, talking of rich, that's really rich, isn't it? Oh, it's really rich. That wouldn't be my first choice, but I can tell that's a good quality chocolate. Yeah. It, I, I like the flavoured ones better than that this one. Again, it's the bitterness, isn't it? That one's a lot more bitter because it's not... Um, offset with the flavour of a yeah. berry or something, but it's still really good. Yeah, if, if I'm in the mood for it, I would have that. Mm. But I'm not always in the mood for that, that business. Sorry, I'm like ploughing through here. Buttons. Buttons, I've got to say. I've not seen these in the shops yet. I've seen buttons, but you know Tesco do their own, is it um, free from? Yeah. yeah. They're revolting. I'm sorry Tesco, but they are revolting because they're just dumb. I will have, I've had them when I'm in, because my little Tesco sits literally next to my flat. If I'm desperate for something chocolatey, mm. I will go there yeah, and I will like eat Yeah, a sweet hit. And I'm always kind of, I've got this weird thing that um, when the Tesco's near me has vegan options, I'm kind of like, I should eat them. They had the Wicked range, but they only had it in for like a month. And I was so gutted when it was gone because yeah. it was so easy on the way home from work if I got home and then just thought, I can't face cooking if it was a bit yeah. of a late one. And I could get a pizza and now they don't have wicked pizzas. Yeah, anymore. it's very hit and miss. Our Tesco next door do the sandwiches and the wraps, but they don't do the, well, I saw one, uh, you know, the ready pat meals yeah. in the plastic containers. Really coconutty. Am I allowed to mm. hold them? You won't let me hold them. I just like the way they look as well because they're powdery. Texture's really um, nice. We had the chocolate bar of that and I fell in love with it, the cocoa milk. That's so good. That's really good. Oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> I'm actually like getting overly excited about how good that tastes. <laughs> Mate. They're powdery, but they're not. Look at him stuffing them in his face. <laughs> just like going, Look, Molly. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't actually eat anymore. I'm stuffed. Because everything vegan tastes of coconut, but that's a really nice oh, type of coconut. They're so good. Well, what can I say? That's that's a second for me. Oh, it might actually be a first. I think these are my favourite. For the reason that you can't get buttons. Oh. Great buttons. Much. Impressed. You, oh, on that, seriously, thank you so much for expanding my waistline. <laughs> but these are... Well, we're off out for a walk now, so we've got loads of energy. Yeah, we need, we, we've got to walk all this off now. <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank, thank you, you, Omba. Thank you very much. Mm.